Well howdy, gonna have a quick look at the Gerber Shard and the Gerber Mullet little keychain dooberies here. I, I've seen quite a lot of love for these little guys on YouTube and various forums. People kind of favouring these as little everyday carry handy gadgets. I bought these because I think they look really cute. This one in particular, it looks really cool. But are they any good in, in use? Well, uh, I'm not entirely convinced they are really. There's only really one scenario where I would choose one of these over a pocket knife or any other multi-tool and that would be if I was traveling by air. Uh, in which case, certainly here in the UK, you're not allowed to take any bladed implements whatsoever on an aeroplane. I've lost a couple of Victorian or Swiss Army knives because I've forgotten to take them out of my pocket or bag or whatever. So I would probably chance taking one of these on a keychain so that I've got some tools when I got to my destination. I hate not having a, a Swiss Army knife on me. Um, but yeah, one of these would be better than nothing, certainly. But yeah, um, failing that, I can't see any reason whatsoever why you would choose to carry one of these instead of just a, a Swiss Army knife or something. These have both got that kind of very similar tool set. In my opinion, the best bit about these tools is they've both got a little angled pry bar section so you can get that underneath a whatever, say a nail. And you've got a little bit of leverage there to, to, to prize up whatever you're prizing. So that's good. A lot of the other little keychain do hickeys don't have that you just get a flat piece of metal so yeah i like that about these that's pretty good but like i said unless i was going on an airplane i'd use the flathead screwdriver on one of my victorinoxes as a little miniature very light duty pry bar these are so small you can only use them for light duty as well if i was doing serious prying i would get a pry bar but the pry capabilities of these on their own wouldn't be enough for me to want to carry it over just using this for light duty prying. You've also on these got like a V-shaped notch, which is this advertised as like a wire stripper, I don't know. I mean, that's relatively sharp. Again, I wouldn't use one of these for stripping wires or anything. Why, why would you? Do you ever, in an emergency wire stripping situation, fine, use that. But yeah, otherwise, nah, I ain't gonna be using this for wire stripping. Um, both of these, you've got a little bottle opener. Both of those work absolutely fine. Again, I've got a bottle opener on pretty much all my pocket knives. Uh, on this one, you've got a little sort of quarter inch hex socket there, so you could use that as a, as a screwdriver with a screwdriver bit in there. I suppose that's, you know, all right, okay. This one's got a little belt clip as well that can slide over your belt or through a belt loop or something. This one's got like, what is that? A scraping part there? or a hugely massive flathead driver. I wouldn't want to be driving screws with that. You've got as well on both of these two kind of flathead screwdrivers. Because of the angle of these and, and the machining on them, they're just really awkward to use as flathead screwdrivers. I, 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 in an absolute emergency, okay, you could use them. But again, I'd rather use something like this, better machined. A nice inline straight handle so easy to use them using this angled thingy here no, it's not great man and then the other thing that you get on these is this little two and a half d phillips screwdriver in an absolute pinch you can use them look at the angle on there that's not convenient they drive okay ish that's a bad angle but yeah you can apply some talk on them that's okay let's just go back to this particular knife if i was driving phillips screws again this fits fine as a phillips screwdriver it's easy to use because of the shape the inline nature of it if i come across any really small phillips screws i can use the file tool on there instead basically i'm saying if you literally had nothing else to hand these little guys are better than nothing they're very cute and they're cheap to buy so why not but i could see no reason really apart from like i said if i was traveling by air and didn't want to risk losing another pocket knife i might bung one of these on my keys and see if we can get that through the airport security so that i've got something the other end but otherwise why would you not just carry a pocket knife that has 
basically all the functionality of these but in a more user-friendly better package just something else jangling about in your pocket oh speaking of going in your pocket as well the shape of these just means they can dig into your thigh a bit in your pocket not not too sure about them when i first got them i tried using them a bit but since then they've just been sat in my little little gadget box swiss army knife and a little set of knipex pliers is what i carry day to day not one of these am i being a bit harsh what do you guys think do you do you like these do you use these am i talking arse here i don't know let me know thanks for having a watch and uh enjoy the rest of your day mate terra there's a little old gnarled phillips screw in there there's a victorinox can opener screwdriver no messing good does the job very well there's a little gerber shard i mean it'll do it but because of the shape of it it's a lot slower it doesn't quite seem to fit the, the screw as well it's just more awkward you can get a fair bit of torque but yeah it's just not as well machined doesn't fit that screw as well I just don't use it. I'd use it if you had nothing else. But I've always got a Swiss Army knife in my pocket. So yeah, just use that. That's a brilliant little Phillips driver, that.